Move low. Hey dad. What Hi, you up dad. to? Hi dad. Oh nothing, just uh, telling you about my new clothing brand. Check it out guys. Start a new clothing brand. We have shirts. We have shorts. A little bit of toothpaste as well. No way. Check out my designer socks guys. If you guys are interested, link in the description. Okay, come now. Uh, let's go to Woodpick on and have some tea. Yeah. Come, okay. Oh, tired. feeling a whole lot better guys I've decided to get back to weight training get back to work in hypertrophy but I'm gonna take it slow if you guys are wondering uh, I'm gonna start my bulk program either end of June or beginning of July so now is gonna be a good weight training session since a long long time so I'll see you in the gym okay guys just made it to the gym hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm gonna do some raw footage in this one have a good time Guys, this is my favorite pre workout. What's it called? Night Reflex, some shit. Gat. Yeah, Gat, 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 it's good. You know, there's this video of this guy who takes a bong hit, takes a scoop of pre workout, and he takes water and then he blows the smoke out. Oh. Is he alive? He's alive, dude. Ugh. Ugh. How many reps do you have? 20. Ugh. Before my heavy set, always have some BCAs. How do I look? How do I look? How do I look? I don't know when I was spotting you. Strike a pose for us, dude. Jerome, come on, Jerome. Strike a pose. I don't show off, bro. Look at this guy, dude. Oh, ho, 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 ho. How's the pace, dude? Huh? How's the pace? Watermelon, right? Yeah. Tastes like watermelon juice with uh, sugar. Okay. Wow, it is heavy, bro. Yeah. The bar is too big. We are doing some uh, flat bench dumbbell press. Dumbbells are always better, guys. If you are looking for you know power lifting kind of movements, go for barbells. But uh, if you are just looking for hypertrophy, go for uh, dumbbell presses. Equal load in both the hands. So that is why you don't have uh, re issues related with symmetry. Okay, some people have muscular imbalances, so they do only barbells. That is why. Okay. Yeah. How much? Yes. Beautiful speech now. Lift it. Repping what? Full high reps. Really? Yeah, high reps. I'm cutting, so just kidding. You get uh, fibers, cuttings. What? What is the other word? Striations. Striations. Muscularity. Well, higher reps helps you, in, you know, burning fat. That's what they say. Bullshit.
the guys? I'm actually a barbell kind of guy, but the Shreyas has been forced me to do dumbbells. But it's good, it's good for a change. I never liked dumbbells, but I'm starting to like it now. Oh. So guys, this exercise is called the cable flies. We are doing the primary function of the chest muscle, which is the horizontal adduction, which is this motion. Okay. So basically, of course, your pressing movements are very important for the chest. But you should know that during the pressing movements, you don't have constant tension throughout the range of motion. So what we should do is we should also do some isolation exercises, you know, just to get the complete contraction of the chest and complete expansion. So some people ask about, you know, how to get that line or get this line or whatever. It's not about uh, what doing dips or whatever. It's just about, you know, complete development of your chest. So get com to get complete development of your chest, you should do it this way. Okay, full range of motion. You start like this slightly bring it lower okay not straight not high okay just bring it lower because your chest muscles right your lower chest muscles are diagonally aligned okay it's not uh, straight mm. there's nothing called middle chest there's only the upper chest and the lower chest there's nothing called the middle chest so the chest muscles in the lower chest are you know aligned like this so the uh, range of motion should be in line with the chest fibers any exercise you do the range of motion should be in line with the muscle fibers so for this in this case you should always bring it slightly lower okay not straight not on top slightly lower like this stretch contract Okay guys, so this variation targets the upper chest. Just watch how I do it. Same principles as the previous one. Chest out and squeeze. Squeeze on top. Stretch. Squeeze on top. And guys, for any any variation, no, make sure you keep soft knees. Don't straighten your knees. Always soft knees. Very important. Squeeze. Stretch. Okay guys, this is one, one solid workout. <sighs> okay guys, so today was a great workout with Shreyas. Yeah. Something different, try to do a little bit of a raw kind of uh, workout. Shreyas did good explanation. Yeah. Let me know if you guys like this because if you do, uh, from now on, I'll make my workout footage just like this. More of information and more exciting content. So keep in touch, do let me know in the comments what do you like. Because as of now, I'm trying my best to experiment with whatever I can just so you guys are happy. So let me know what you think, guys. Let me know.
So guys, I've noticed my comment section is very active. I like that. I like you guys are very interactive and very interested in the content. It definitely motivates me to put out new, like more and better content. So I want to thank you guys for that. And yeah, like one very, very famous comment that I got in my last video was, dude, Ralston, why have you dropped so much size? So let me explain. So six weeks ago, I uh, had a very, very serious pain on my uh, lower part of my quad. The tendon joining my quad to my knee or something like that. So that was a problem. I got it checked and apparently it was overstrained, it was too sore. So I realized I got to tone it down on my deadlifting and squatting, which was tough for me because my workouts are based on those two movements. Deadlifts and squats are what I live for if you guys watch my content. So if you do such good comp, such heavy compound movements, you're bound to burn a lot of calories. So in my mind, I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing these movements. I'm not going to burn as many calories. I might as well drop my calorie intake. So that's one reason why I did lose quite a bit of weight. And secondly, uh, I had to avoid weight training for a bit. And I thought it's, it probably will help be more versatile, learn more about functional training, about weight loss training. Because I do have a lot of clients who do not have access to gyms and who want to do like home workouts or who travel a lot and want some versatility. And most of them like focus on fat loss. So I thought, you know what, might as, I might as well experiment with different programs and see what I could do. So these past, I think, four to six weeks, I've been doing like functional training like burpees and shoulder presses and uh, jumping squats, as you guys saw in my previous video. So I did quite a bit of that, which burns a lot of calories. Try to, you know, add more to my inventory. So I want to learn different styles of training. So that's what it was. And with that, with the low calorie diet, I ended up burning quite a bit of calories. It's okay, guys. At the end of the day, it's better to get leaner than fatter, right? So even if I'm not building muscle, burning fat also would be pretty cool. So that was a big reason as to why. The injury and me being versatile or me trying to learn something different. So we'll see how that goes. And yeah, Lara just gave me a call. She has a nice surprise for me. So I'm pretty excited to, sh to see what's going on with her. And yeah, I can't wait. She sounded excited, so let's check it out, guys. I'm as clueless as you guys, so let's see what Lara has in store for us. Yeah. What's up, Lara? Hello. What's up? Lara, come outside for two minutes, no? Sure, sure. Oh, wow, Lara, what is this? <laughs> you got a new car? What a surprise! Why didn't you tell me? What is I this? I uh, surprise you. Uh, what? Bento? Bento? Yeah. Oh. Got me so many gifts also. Oh, lucky lah. Nice yeah. system also. Nice, nice cool stuff. Okay, could you help me park now? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Guys, look at this. Lucky Lara. Not focusing. Okay, so I just came to pick up Lara. Lara is doing big things now. She got a car. She just finished off a meeting. So I'm very proud of her. On the other hand, I'm uh, I'm just a small time filmmaker, uh, videotaping myself and trying to get some views, which is not happening. So yeah, so we are right now at Boca having a nice meal. I have my watermelon juice and I'm waiting for the rest of the food to come. Lamb burger and some watermelon juice. Okay guys, so that was a good meal. I'm full. Lara over here. You still eating? Yep. See you guys around. Okay guys, so time for me to end this video. So we are spending uh, the, this evening trying to figure out how to use this damn car. It's a little complicated guys. I am not so good with the machines. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the content. Let me know what you think and uh, thanks for the love and support. Don't forget to like, subscribe and as always, bye-bye guys, bye-bye. Say bye la. Bye.